Where are you going? Are you on the list? Uh, I'm here for my daughter's wedding. Yeah, sure. Freeloader. So what's the name of your daughter? Jessica. Jesse! Jesse! Hey! It's Jessica. She's it's Jesse! Okay. It's okay. Surprise! Surprise. I don't know this man. Take him out. All right, Daddy. I know your type. No, no, wait, what are you doing? Don't you recognize me, Jesse? <sighs> this is a misunderstanding. That's it. Take me. You're on your own. Take me back, I said. And don't bother anyone here it's again. Mistake. Hey, what's going on here? Sir, that sneak tried to get into the wedding without an invitation. Sneak? I flew halfway across the country to see my Jessica. There's a big surprise for me. I didn't know Jessica had any relatives, considering she is an orphan. Orphan? Mm, well, yes, she doesn't have anybody at all. But let me guess. Except for you. Maybe. Do you really want to see the bride? Yes, sir. You have no idea how much I do. That's okay. Sir, but he's not on the list. This is a misunderstanding. I'll do it. Jessica must not have recognized her relative. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Jess. God, he's going through it like that. Ladies and gentlemen, please attention. The Carter family is a family which has a long and rich history. And tonight we are all happy to welcome Jessica as a new member of the family. And at the same time to meet an unexpected guest from the bride's side. And let's give him the floor. Mr. Jack McFall. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Jack McFall. Uh, and I'm... Uh, I'm Jessica's great uncle. I wish all the best to the new family and to the newlyweds. Let's congratulate them. Oh, great uncle, yeah. what's going on? Oh my god, what a big surprise! Great uncle! Oh, great uncle, it's really you. Oh, oh, long time no see. How are you? Oh, uh, we have a million things to talk about. <laughs> Yeah, that's him. Uh. Dad, what the hell? What are you doing? I was about to ask you the same question, orphan. Isn't it too soon to be burying me? No, no, Dad, not you, my past. Do you really think that the girl from a trailer park who was abandoned by her mother at birth and then raised by... Disabled man? A disabled father! Can be here, yes! It doesn't matter who you were. What matters now is who you became, despite all the hardship. No! No, Dad, no! To be accepted in this world, in this family. At least I need to be the daughter of rich bankers. A lion will, will, will not make you happier, daughter. Dad, the truth they didn't either. In our town, everyone knew who I was. Everyone bullied me, always. And then I ran away from here and made my own life by myself. And everything was okay until you came along. I lied for you. I will always protect you, daughter. Listen to me. If you stay here, you'll ruin everything.
can I have a little time to admire my daughter, my bride? I, I won't ruin anything. Where did your uncle go? I'm sorry, he had to leave us. Well, I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him properly. Um, your uncle was in such a hurry to go on business that he forgot to give you a present. I didn't care. Maybe you should at least look at it. Of course. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. Look at you, a little princess. And your daddy is still healthy. But I, I thought he was in a car accident before I was born. I promise not to tell you anything, but I feel like I have to. What are we talking about? When you were a child, there was a fire in your house. My old man saw it with his own eyes and told me about it. Your daddy saved you. He took you out of the burning house and protected you from the fire. 1998. I will always protect you. But he was badly injured and hasn't walked since. But why did he keep it for me? Because he didn't want you to blame yourself for his injury. I wanted to protect you for feeling guilty when you were a child. He always protected me. What have we done? No, 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 where are you going? Gosh, do I have to cover for you again? <laughs> Well, I haven't seen our bride in a while. Sarah, where's Jessica? She went out, but she'll be back soon. I hope. Jessie, don't do this. I already embarrassed you enough. I'm the one who embarrassed you. And I have to make it right. <clears throat> uh, dear guests, Mr. and Mrs. Carter, uh, I'd like you to meet with someone. Well, Jess, everyone has met already, Jack. No, no, you haven't. This man is my father. I know. I made a lot of mistakes. I was ashamed of my childhood from a trailer park, and I rejected my father in a wheelchair. Though I should have been proud of him. And I promise you that I will always protect you, Dad. I lied. And I understand uh, if the Carters reject me after this. I didn't fit in their family. Once a trailer park girl, always a trailer park girl. I'm so sorry. Jesse, where do you think you are going? Did I give your father a wedding invitation for nothing? So you invited him? Your story was a suspicious one from the beginning. So I need to understand who is in our family. That's why I decided to gather information about you. But 
why you didn't stop it earlier. I had to know sure that a girl who takes on the Carter name understands what it means to truly respect her family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Carter. Dear Jesse, it's not the family name that makes a family good. It's the people who makes it up. Yes. Understand? Mm -hmm. Good girl. And now I have an announcement. Now it's time for the dance for my new in-laws, Mr. Jack McFall and Jessica Carter. Woo <laughs>